Are you planning your first trip abroad and feeling a bit overwhelmed? It's completely natural. Traveling, especially abroad, can seem like a daunting task, but it's also an enriching experience that broadens your horizons and opens up a whole new world of perspectives. You see, when you step into a foreign land, you're not just a visitor, you're a learner. You learn about different cultures, cuisines, traditions, and histories that you'd never encounter in your own backyard. It's like diving into a vast sea of knowledge and experience that you carry with you for the rest of your life. However, we understand that the anticipation of your first trip can bring a whirlwind of emotions and concerns. Questions like, what should I pack? Or how do I navigate through airports? may be crowding your thoughts. And that's okay. It's all part of the journey. But worry not, because this guide will help you navigate through the process smoothly. The first and most important step is planning your trip. A well-planned trip is akin to a well-packed suitcase where everything has its place and nothing is left to chance. Let's start with research. You don't need a PhD in geography, but a basic understanding of the country or city you're visiting is essential. Dive into the history, culture, and local customs of your chosen destination. This will not only enrich your travel experience, but also help you avoid potential cultural faux pas. Next, choosing a destination. This might seem obvious, but it's more than just pointing at a spot on the globe. Consider the climate, your interests, and the activities you'd like to engage in. If you're an ardent beach lover, heading to the Swiss Alps might not be your best bet. Conversely, if you're into skiing, the tropical beaches of Bali might leave you longing for snow. Understanding the climate is crucial. It will dictate what you pack, the activities you plan, and even the time of year you visit. A tropical paradise can quickly turn into a nightmare if you visit during monsoon season. Likewise, a winter wonderland can be less than wonderful if you're not prepared for sub-zero temperatures. Culture and local customs are like the secret ingredients in a recipe. They give a place its unique flavor. Learning about them can help you blend in, respect local traditions, and even make new friends. Budgeting for your trip is like planning a meal. You need to know how much you can spend without going hungry. Factor in costs like accommodation, food, transportation, sightseeing, and don't forget to set aside some funds for unexpected expenses. Lastly, remember to have a flexible plan. While it's good to have an itinerary, be open to spontaneous adventures. Serendipity often leads to the most memorable experiences. So take the time to plan your trip meticulously, but also be open to the unexpected. After all, travel is about discovery, and what better way to discover than to venture into the unknown? Remember, a well-planned trip can save you from a lot of unnecessary hassles. Once you've planned your trip, it's time to book your travel. Now this is where the excitement really starts to kick in. But hold on, we need to make sure you're getting the best deals and making the right choices. First things first, let's talk about booking platforms. There's a whole array of online platforms out there where you can book your flights and hotels. Websites like Expedia, Booking.com, and Skyscanner, or apps like Hopper and Kayak, are all popular choices. Each platform has its own unique features and benefits, so it's worth taking a bit of time to explore and see which one suits your needs best. Comparing prices is absolutely key when booking your travel. Prices for the same flight or hotel room can vary significantly across different platforms. So don't just settle for the first price you see. Do your homework, compare prices, and ensure you're getting the best possible deal. Now, let's talk about reviews. Reviews are your best friend when it comes to booking hotels. They give you an insider's perspective on the place you're planning to stay. Look for consistent comments about cleanliness, location, and service. And don't just focus on the star rating. Read some of the reviews to get a better understanding of what you can expect. And finally, let's not forget about travel insurance. It might seem like an unnecessary expense, but travel insurance can be a real lifesaver. It can cover everything from trip cancellations and lost luggage to medical emergencies. So it's definitely worth considering. Now we know that booking your travel can seem like a daunting task, but with the right tools and a bit of patience, it can actually be a fun and rewarding part of your travel experience. So dive in, explore your options, and start making those bookings. And there you have it. You're all set with your bookings. Now it's time to start thinking about what to pack, but we'll save that for the next scene. Until then, happy booking. Now comes the part most travelers dread, packing. It's a task that can seem daunting, especially when you're unsure of what to bring along. But worry not, we've got you covered. First things first, your packing list will greatly depend on your destination. 
a trip to the sunny beaches of Bali will require different items than a trekking adventure in the Swiss Alps. So, start by researching your destination's climate, culture, and customs. This will give you a clear idea of what clothing and items you'll need. For instance, if you're heading to a tropical destination, don't forget your sunscreen, lightweight clothing, and a trusty pair of sandals. Conversely, if you're off to a colder climate, pack warm layers, thermal socks, and good quality boots. Regardless of the destination though, some items are universal. Travel documents, toiletries, medication, and electronic devices, to name a few. Now let's talk about the importance of packing light. It's tempting to pack everything you own, but remember, less is more. Not only does it make moving around easier, but it also leaves space for souvenirs and other finds from your travels. Try to stick to the essentials and opt for versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched. Trust me, you don't want to be lugging around a heavy suitcase through airports and city streets. Lastly, it's crucial to be aware of your airline's baggage policies. Every airline has its own rules regarding the size, weight, and number of bags allowed. Check these policies ahead of time to avoid any last-minute stress or additional fees. Some airlines even offer baggage calculators on their websites, which can be very handy. In a nutshell, packing for a trip doesn't have to be a nightmare. With a bit of planning and organization, you can pack smart and travel light. And remember, it's not just about what you pack, but how you pack it. Roll, don't fold, use packing cubes, and make good use of your suitcase's space. Packing might seem daunting, but with a bit of organization, it's a breeze. So, happy packing and here's to your upcoming adventure. Airports can be quite intimidating for first-time travelers. But with a little bit of knowledge and preparation, they don't have to be. Navigating through an airport starts before you even leave your house. Make sure to arrive at least two to three hours early for an international flight. This allows plenty of time for check-in, security, and finding your gate without the stress of running late. Once you're at the airport, the first stop is usually the check-in desk. Here, you'll drop off your checked bags, receive your boarding pass if you haven't already printed it at home, and confirm your seat assignment. Next, you'll head to security. Make sure to have your passport and boarding pass ready. Follow the signs and instructions from airport staff. You'll need to remove your shoes, belt, and any jackets, as well as empty your pockets. All liquids and gels must be in containers of 100 milliliters or less and placed in a clear resealable plastic bag. After security, it's time to find your gate. Airport terminals can be large and confusing, but don't worry. The screens throughout the terminal will display flight information, including gate numbers. If you're unsure, don't hesitate to ask airport staff for directions. If you have a layover, use this time wisely. Check the screens for information about your next flight and where you need to be. If you have enough time, grab a bite to eat, freshen up, or even explore the airport's shops and amenities. Boarding usually begins about 30 minutes before the flight's departure time. Listen for announcements and follow the instructions given by the airline staff. Remember to keep all necessary documents handy throughout your airport journey. This includes your passport, boarding pass, and any other identification or travel documents you may need. Airports can seem like a maze, but with a bit of preparation and a calm demeanor, you'll make it through without a hitch. You're not just a first-time traveler anymore, you're an adventurer ready to explore the world. With these tips, you'll navigate airports like a pro. And finally, the most exciting part, enjoying your trip. This is where the magic truly happens. As you step into the unfamiliar, remember to keep an open mind. Embrace the new, new places, new experiences, new flavors. They are all part of the adventure. Yet, while you're out there exploring, don't forget to respect the local culture. Understand that things may be different from what you're used to, and that's okay. Be patient, be kind, and always, always be respectful. And let's not forget about safety. It's crucial to stay aware of your surroundings and to follow local rules. That way you can focus on making the most out of your trip without any unnecessary concerns. So go forth with confidence, fellow travelers. Immerse yourselves in the beauty that the world has to offer. Gather stories, create memories, and let the world change you for the better. Remember, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page.